Welcome to this video, new part on the series on tactics and calculation. Yeah, this is mostly about one single position that I wanted to show you, and it's uh, from one of my games. And in fact, it's from the game that um, I consider to be the the nicest finish uh, <laughs> that I ever played <laughs> in a game of chess, at least in tournament chess. I'm not sure about <laughs> all the blitz games, but it's definitely the nicest that I ever got in tournament chess. Um, the position is at move 18, so relatively early in the game. And the situation there is so crazy that I find it's a little bit uh, a bit weird just to put the position on the board without showing where we how we got there, because it looks uh, very strange. I just want to go briefly through the game, very briefly, to so that you know um, where this uh, how this how this come to uh, how this came on the board. Um, this was played 2010, a couple of years ago, against an international master from the Netherlands, Vincent Rothuis. So, not really a, a bad opponent, but he really had an off day, as we see in the opening. Yeah, we have this kind of ready flank opening, queen c2. Yeah, here knight b6 is the normal way to play. However, he went with b5, which is interesting. It's not bad. I really didn't uh, know the move in this precise position. I decided to try to um, yeah, fight this head on with b3. He took and I took on c6. Rook b8, not much else, a b. Yeah, and here he, I'm not quite sure what he, uh, what he missed there, but here he played the move e6. And after that, black is already in huge trouble because of the very simple reply rook takes. I can just take here, and after that, he really does not have any uh, any good compensation. Maybe he was um, thinking about bishop c5 here, but this just fails to rook d7. I am not sure, but after that, he's in, in very, very big trouble already. Instead, <clears throat> here, a move like bishop b7 leads to very okay play for black. He certainly has an okay position. He can just play a6 later if he wants. Okay, he went here and I could just take, and I did take, <laughs> knight uh, to f6, knight c3, and um, yeah, here he definitely should try to develop bishop c5 or something, but he went b4, and after knight b5, I think he's already lost. With knight c7, knight d6, ideas are too much. It was really not a good game by black. It's it's really most about the, the finish, which is very nice. Bishop c5, yeah. Here I check. gave the check, king f8. And here white has a choice. I can just play rook c7, which is the simplest move in a way, as it, uh, after it takes, check. takes, uh, leads to a completely overwhelming position with an extra pawn even. But um, I was attracted to knight takes f7 because it just, uh, it's just so forceful to take there. The big point is, of course, he cannot take it all because I take the bishop using the rook on the seventh. So he has to play queen e7. There's really no other logical move room that uh, he can play. Um, now, if I take the rook, he takes a7. And this is not clear at all. Well, this is all of a sudden my knight is, uh, is trapped. I have given up rook on a7. So this is not, not really great. And uh, my idea was to play rook c7. The point is that now, after king takes, this is what he played and probably should play. I have Check. this move. And now he needs to, yeah, he needs to take a walk with the king. <laughs> king g6. If he goes back, I just take this Check. with a check and win easily. This is how he ended up with the king in the open. Yeah, here I have a choice. I can play d4 or bishop e4 and I couldn't really calculate it till the end. I went check. bishop e4. d4 is also very strong. And now he went to h5. This makes it uh, as difficult as possible. The point is that if he takes, I have d4 check. check. Yeah, king to the side. And then I just uh, I can just take on, on c5 and uh, have a fantastic position. Yeah, black really um, is without a defense here. What what should he play? Yeah, this this king on h5 is just a, just a, an enormously bad piece, and he can he cannot move really. 
if he takes for example queen takes it's a disaster there's ideas like g4 yeah or h4 g4 with mate the king here on this other side it's not um, it's not going to survive he went to h5 and now uh, here <laughs> i saw i saw the finish of the game um but let's um, look at exactly here this is the position where you can um, treat this as a puzzle and find the strongest continuations um there is more than one way for white to win this but um, there is one way that is the quickest way and it's also by far the the most uh, attractive way the 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 nicest way to win so if you want um you should pause the video and uh, think about this how does white win here in the nicest possible way and black absolutely has no defense the computer is giving like a mate in 20 or something if <laughs> in some line okay this i did not see i saw the the game continuation which is the most uh, important um yeah let's um uh, i let you have a look now yeah okay i'm going to show show it now here i was very delighted <laughs> to being able to play the move h3 <laughs> i absolutely absolutely love it the queen is hanging and white can react by this innocent looking little pawn move and after that white is um, in fact really completely winning my opponent much to his credit was nice enough to capture the queen now and let the the mate play out on the board um, he has no defense um, anyway i mean the, if you give it to an engine it gives knight takes e4 as the relatively toughest which i uh, briefly looked at of course as well but it's uh, it's this is relatively easy to see why this wins why it goes g4 check king h4 checkmate. is a nice little checkmate and after let's say here white can just check. take on e4 and win the house this is checkmate mate or after this you can Check. you can do something like that if you don't find anything else there might be something something even even better but this is what i was i was seeing after this you can take here threatening knight f7 double check and mate so black has has no move now yeah he captured the queen and now this is a mate in um in I think five moves if I'm counting counting correctly check. g4 check and first the easiest lines this is check mate mate double check check mate this is, we had seen before so he took h takes check. g4 double check he has to take now f3 check, check. only one reply king g3 Rook h3 check, check. f4 check. The pawn move check king g1 and here white has the choice between rook h1 and bishop e3 to be honest i didn't see before that bishop e3 is also a mate maybe i i should play bishop e3 it's a matter i had seen rook h1 beforehand and i played this check mate quickly and i like it this is the the most attractive mate i ever got got on the board in a game of chess the king on uh, on g1 the black king on g1 getting mated after 24 moves um and this is uh, out of out of this type of opening this is really really uh, unusual it uh, might happen in the king's gambit or something like that but not in a flank opening yeah i hope you you like this it's um it's a really a, a super super nice uh, finish to a game and i give much much credit to my opponent that check, he, he check, let me check, play it check, out on check, uh, over check, the board mate. he didn't he didn't resign beforehand which was uh, very nice this was very nice very um was, was was really great to have this played out on the board yeah i hope you enjoyed enjoyed this uh, this little game and uh, the position to solve and yeah i'll be back soon with more nice tactical games and samples. Thanks for watching.